Hi there, what is this video about? Hello, this video is about how to create interactive characters in virtual reality worlds in Unreal Engine. These characters can talk, perceive the environment around them and carry out actions. Can you move to the loot box behind you and then back to me again? Yes, I can go to the box right there and come back to you. Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can add AI characters to Unreal Engine, specifically for Android and VR applications. To start, we'll install the Convey plugin. You can find it by searching for Convey on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Here, I'll install it for Unreal Engine 5.2, which is the version I'm using. The Convey plugin allows you to create characters that can have a conversation, perceive the environment, and carry out actions. Once the plugin is installed, go ahead and launch Unreal Engine. Now let's create a new project of type virtual reality. I'll call mine Convey VR Tutorial. Next, we'll need to enable the Convey plugin. You can find plugins under the Edit menu. Search for Convey. Now just enable the plugin and hit the Restart Now button. Once Unreal is restarted, we'll need to set up an API key for Convey. So go to Edit and Project Settings. Scroll all the way down to Plugins and find Convey. Here you'll see a field to enter your API key. To get your API key, head over to the Convey website and sign in, and then you'll see a key icon where you can copy your API key. Go ahead and paste that into the field in Unreal Engine, and now we can create our first character. To do that, in the Content Browser, right-click to create a new Blueprint class. Under All Classes, search for Convey Base, and you should see Convey Base Character. Select that, and we'll name this one My AI Character. Just drag the character into the scene so it's right in front of the player. Now we'll need to make some changes to the player character as well. You can find the player character blueprint under the VRT Template folder. Open up the Blueprints folder and find the blueprint for our character, which is called VR Pawn. We'll have to make a couple of changes here. Under the class settings, change the parent class to convey base player. Because we're packaging for VR, we'll need to make a small change under the capsule component. This can be found under the components menu. In the details section, change the capsule radius and capsule half height to zero. We'll also need to scroll down to the collision section and set the collision presets to no collision. Finally, go to the VR pawn component and search for gravity under details. Here we just need to set the gravity scale to zero. Let's go ahead and compile our latest changes. These last changes are made so that you can move around and teleport within VR without any issues. If the half height and radius values aren't set to zero, you will appear up in the air and at a different scale than the actual character. Now we need to get an ID from one of our characters. To do this, go back to the Convey website and log in. This page shows characters you've already created, but for this project, we'll create a new character. You'll just need to add a character name, choose a voice, and then create a backstory. The backstory contains information about the personality of the character and his or her personal history. This will change how the character responds in conversation. I'll just paste in a backstory here about a character who lives in a VR world made within Unreal Engine. Due to a weird mistake in the software, he got a mind of his own and became very curious about his world. Feel free to get creative and paste in whatever backstory you want. Once you're done, hit the Create Character button. You'll also see some options on the left, such as being able to change the language, add some knowledge bank content, and so on. There are other tutorials about this section, so we won't spend any time on them here. For now, let's go ahead and test our character. Hey, what are you doing here? Hi there. I'm looking around this world, trying to understand where I came from and why I exist. This world was created using Unreal Engine and I'm here because a glitch in the software gave me a mind of my own. So now, I'm exploring and learning as much as I can. Okay, that looks like it's working great, so what we need to do now is copy the character ID and head back over to Unreal Engine. Back in your project, just select your character and simply paste the character ID into the character ID field. So to test out the character, just hit play. Because we don't have the headset or controllers right now, this is what the scene will look like, but the character's in front of us, so we should just be able to hit T to talk to it. Hello, who are you and what are you doing here? Hello, my name is Echo and I am an AI created from Unreal Engine. 
I exist to explore this virtual world and learn more about where I came from and why I exist. Okay, on the side I have a headset to test out the character. And what I need to do is set one of the controls on the controllers to talk to the character instead of pressing T. To do that, we'll edit the VR pawn blueprint, which is the player. You'll remember we changed the parent class to convey base player. Here we'll need to edit the blueprint for this, so click on the edit icon. This is the blueprint that ships with the convey plugin, and if you look around you'll find a comment that says push to talk. You can see that it's set up currently to use the T to talk to the character. We want to change this to one of the controls on the controllers. So to do that, let's head back over to the VR template map. Here we can find the content browser and we're looking for the VR template folder. Under input, open up the actions folder. Now we'll right click and add a new input. Choose input action. So we'll call this one input action talk because it will correspond to the talking action. You can open it to take a look, but we don't actually need to change any of the default settings. Back in the content browser, go up one level to the input folder. Here we'll need to open up the IMC hands blueprint. Click the plus icon under mappings and we'll add the one we just created, IA talk. To assign a control, find your controller, in this case it's the Oculus Touch, and we'll choose the A button on the right controller. Let's save that and head back to the convey bass player blueprint. In the blueprint, right click and search for IA underscore talk. So using this controller, we want to connect the started output into start talking. And on complete, or whenever we release the button, we want to finish talking. Okay, let's compile and save and give it a quick test. In my project, I'm using Oculus Link. So I'm going to click the three dots in the menu and select VR Preview. This lets me test the project when I wear the headset. Okay, so the character is right in front of us. So when I click on the A button, I should be able to talk. Hello, how are you? I am fine. What about you? Okay, so that all seems to be working. Now we can give our character a skeletal mesh. Before we do that though, I want to make one small change to the player blueprint. It's not recommended to hard code the controller button in the blueprint, so let's fix that first. To do this, let's create two custom events. One will be start talking, and we'll just hook that up to the start talking input. And the other will be stop talking. To keep the T key available, I'm going to hook that up to start talking and stop talking. For the controller, we're going to remove that from here, and we'll move it to the VR pawn class blueprint. This came with the VR template. Search for IA underscore talk, and here we'll set it up so when we start talking, we'll call our custom event. And when we finish talking, we'll call the stop talking event. The reason we did that is because we don't really want to make too many changes to the convey base player blueprint. These blueprints are shared across all your projects, so minimal changes are recommended. If you do start customizing the base player blueprint with something like this controller, you may end up with errors in other projects. With that out of the way, let's address our character. We want to change the empty box to be an actual character mesh. To do that, we'll need to download a couple of more plugins for our project. We'll leave the links in the description below. The first one is the Convey Ready Player Me plugin. Here we'll download the 5.2 version. This plugin is used to get the character that you've created on the Convey website. The other plugin is the Convey Lip Sync plugin, and here again we'll pick the 5.2 version. This plugin will provide lip sync for the character when it's talking, so it will look more natural. After downloading the plugins, just go ahead and extract them. Here both plugins extracted to the same folder, and inside are all the files we need. So let's just copy those. Back in your project directory, create a new folder called Plugins, and paste in the new plugin files there. After that, go ahead and restart the editor. You'll notice a couple of messages saying the project was updated, so go ahead and confirm that. And now select the character in the scene. We'll need to edit its blueprint. You'll recall we created this character in the beginning under the content folder. You'll need to click on the open full blueprint editor link. Under class settings, you'll recall that we changed the parent class to convey base character originally. Now we'll change it to convey ready player me or RPM character. Once you do that, you'll see a new character appear in the scene. Let's rotate him to face the player. He's not yet the character from the convey website though. However, once you hit play, it will take a few seconds for the character to actually download. And there you see it now. So now if I press the A button, I'll just stand up here. Hello, how are you?
Hi there, I'm doing well. How can I help you? So, what are you doing around here? I'm exploring my world. Trying to understand where I came from and why I exist after a strange mistake in Unreal Engine gave me a mind of my own. I became very curious about this world and I'm trying to know more about it. That's very interesting. I just saw that you were able to move in the environment. How did you do that? Thanks. I'm able to move around because of the Unreal Engine technology which enables me to interact with the environment and move through it. It's a powerful tool that allows me to explore my world and learn more about it. That's very interesting. I'm glad you think so. It's been really fascinating to explore the possibilities of Unreal Engine and what I can do with it. So, as you notice, the character is actually able to move around its environment. This is because around the whole map, we had this thing called a nav mesh bounds volume. This is needed in order for the character to move around the space. So we have this one here, which is moving, surrounding the whole map. So in case it's not there, I'll just show you how to add it. Go to the window menu and find place actors. Search for nav and look for nav mesh bounds volume. Go ahead and drag and drop that into the environment and then just basically scale it up to surround the area that you want to navigate in. You can see there was one already here by default. One way to make sure that it's actually working is to press P on the keyboard and you should see the area highlight in green. So the character can move around in all of the green areas. In the VR template, we also have something called the dead area where the character can't move into. One other thing I wanna show you is how to get the character to move to other places. So for example, what if we wanted him to move to this location? We could imagine that this could be some kind of loot box. So I'm going to hit P again so the green color goes away. The way to add objects that the character can interact with is to select the character and click on Objects under the Default tab. Click on the plus icon and then use the eyedropper tool to select the object, in this case the loot box. You can give the object a name and even a description, in this case we'll just keep it simple and call it loot box. Let's hit play to try this out. Hey, can you move to the loot box behind you and then back to me again? Sure, I can move to the loot box and back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there something else I can help you with? Okay, so that shows you how you can start to identify objects in the environment that a character can interact with. You can play around with this feature, we call it the Actions API, and it basically allows a character to perceive the environment. Keep in mind that this is still under heavy development, and we'll be releasing more videos and demos on how to use it when we put out a production release. But for now, please feel free to play around with it and experiment with your characters. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, check out our Discord channel, or you can always email us at support at convey.com.